How are you? How are you? Not doing good. Why not? What's going on? I have an infection. You do? Let me see. Yeah. This is it, strange. It's, it's so it's, far away from your surgery. It's, I know, six weeks. I'm almost seven weeks. Let me take a look. When did this happen? Um, I started feeling the burning sensation first, like about three days ago. And okay. Then uh, last night when I was taking a shower, before before I went in the shower, I felt like they, it was like an odor. Hmm. And nothing changed, nothing like you didn't feel... No, no. You didn't start working, nothing like, no, no change? No, I'm still in my recliner. I refuse to go to my bed until I'm completely like healed. I okay. want to stay in that position. I feel very comfortable that way. Okay. Um, I'm not... I'm not doing any housework. I have my daughters that are helping me out. Thank God. I don't even. I'm not even. Yeah, she's she's my baby. Baby number six. Baby number six. She's eleven years old. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. And she she's even cooking and everything. I mean, I haven't done nothing. I'm being Do treated like a queen. Yes. She could yeah. babysit. Yeah, I have a nephew. Um, I mean, my a grandson. Her nephew is three years old, and she takes care of him sometimes. Let me take a um, look. Let me take. I'm gonna take this off. I have a lot of questions. Sure. Please take your time. No, no before three days ago, there was nothing. I felt, I've been feeling, I've been feeling that like pulling sensation, mm -hmm. which I've read up that it's normal. And, yeah, that's and Michelle, scarring. well, that's her name, Michelle, right? Mm -hmm. She told me that that's normal. Yeah. I'm going to be feeling that. Especially like every week when I'm, mm -hmm. as I, as I stand up straight, because up until three weeks ago, I was like this still. Yeah. You know, like an old lady. Yeah. So now I feel like I'm standing upright, but when I do stand up from the recliner, I feel a pull. But it's a burning sensation. I started feeling that like three days ago. So I can't really look like that still. So my daughter's looking at it, my older daughter, and she's like, Mommy, it's red. Mm. So I'm like, oh no, that's not supposed to be red. Take a so look. in some areas, in you, some you areas, stand huh? Stand up? Oh, yeah. In some areas over here, it looks okay. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah. But then I feel like in the middle here, like mm -hmm. this this side here is not good. I don't like the way it looks. Well, it's very swollen. I put that in now, just now, because it's pus. It, it pus is coming yeah, out. Like it. liquid is coming out. I didn't want to dirty yeah. the pants. Okay. You don't smell it. I smell it. I do. Oh, so I don't well, like it. So I'm gonna start you with some antibiotics. And I take a bath every day. No, I... it's not. That. So what happened is almost certainly you had a little pocket of fluid in here. Mm-hmm. And, I did. And the fluid finds its way out. Oh. So it comes out, and then it looks like this. I'll start in some antibiotics. It would probably it probably doesn't need antibiotic, but antibiotics will like help it go away a little faster. Okay. But basically, you probably have a little collection of fluid, and then it just spontaneously drains. But it's going to come out. The, it usually either comes out the belly button or the incision. Mm. The swelling on my belly has gone down a lot. Yeah. A lot. A lot. Um. I told I'm Michelle to see if that I feel like the the right side is flatter than the left side. She yeah. said that that's. It's gonna ha continue to happen until it's completely. Yeah, healed. there's also, I mean, there's also just, I think the shape of your abdomen is a little. I feel something on this side. Right there where you're touching it. I feel yeah. like like a little ball or something. There, there might be a little bit of fat necrosis or fluid here. These, again, these are things that usually just settle out. But this is definitely a seroma drained out of here. It was almost like a weirdish. Almost like a yellowish, but like darker fluid coming out. Yeah, and it smells. I can smell it. I don't like the way it smells. All this little pleating, this will go away. Okay. Can I get you a new dressing? I'll be back in just one minute. Okay. I wanted to talk to you about um how you how you make the incision. Why is it like wrinkly on this side? Because the top right here. Um, the top incision is longer than the bottom incision, mm -hmm. right? Just because we cut like, we basically make this cut to start the surgery. Mm -hmm. We lift all the skin up and then we make a cut like this. So the top incision is longer than the bottom incision. So it has to pleat in a couple places, but the pleats work themselves out. Oh, like okay. when it's not healing, it won't be wrinkled like that. And what about this little dog ear? Yeah, so this is where you're laying on the table. Mm. If you see, so like this is where we had to stop. Okay, will yeah. that go away? Will that it, flatten it, out? It will flatten a little bit. If it doesn't completely go away, I fix it in the office. Oh, okay, okay. <sighs> so. 
So that little pocket of fluid, I do remember. It was like a little ball. I did, I do remember. It was like a pink ball. I do remember. So he said that it had to come out of somewhere. If it wasn't going to come out through the it was going to come out through the belly button. I just heard exactly what he told me. So um, it was going to come out anyway from the belly button or there. So you see, these are things that they don't tell you. These are things that they do not tell you. So I'm going to give you three prescriptions, two are antibiotics, because I don't know what bacteria I'm treating, so I have to give you two, and then one will be diclucan, fluconazole for a yeast infection. You only have to take that if the antibiotics give you a yeast infection. Oh, I've heard of that. Yeah. Yes. A lot of it times when you put people on a... I've on, never had a problem, though. I've never so hopefully you won't even need it. But it's just a single pill, but a lot of times when we start the double antibiotics for the wound infection then you can get a yeast infection, and the yeast infection can be more miserable than the wound infection. Oh my goodness. Stand up for this. And you don't have to have a dressing on here if it's not draining fluid. If it's draining fluid, then just keep a dressing on here. It will stop. Okay, because it is leaking. I feel anyway, it. That's the fluid coming out. Yeah. But I'm saying it, it will stop. But, you know... You what just... about here? This is all swelling too, too. This is where, like, this is where it wanted to come out. So like it, it, basically it wants to come out of the incision and it basically collects along the incision and then it finds a, like the weak spot to come out of. I had, I think I popped a, 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 a stitch here a few weeks ago. Do you see it? Like, is there a little, like a little hole somewhere around there? I don't, but the, the, most of the stitches are inside so you can't feel them. I, I can't see them, but you can feel them. Okay. Let me confirm your pharmacy real quick. Yeah, it's um, Lincoln Place. No allergies? Mm -mm. Nope. You're going into middle school? Oh, seventh grade. Seventh grade. Oh, seventh grade. <laughs> My daughter's turning nine. My oldest is turning nine. Oh, she's still a baby. Yeah, I have eight, six, four. Oh, you have three. I have three. Oh, enjoy them. Enjoy them. Because I'm telling you, sleep with one eye open and one eye closed. Because you wake up, you go to bed tonight and tomorrow they're in college already. Enjoy every moment that you have with them. When they get to be like her, they don't want to hug you in, pu in public anymore. They don't want to give you a kiss or anything. They want you to leave them outside and, you know, don't walk up to the door anymore. <laughs> I didn't do that to my mom. Me either. All the way up to high school, I still hug my mom and kiss her and everything. It's different for girls too, though. I feel like girls get this. Yeah. Have a relationship with their mother. Yeah. You're right. Um, so the two antibiotics are the Augmentin and the Bactrim. Okay. And then the Fluconazole, the Diflucan, will just be a single pill that you only have to take if you get a yeast infection. Okay. And Lincoln Place on Eastern Parkway. Okay. Yeah. Why is it called Lincoln Place? I don't know. My kid's school is on Lincoln Place. Is that, there's no Lincoln Park there, right? Maybe that's why. No, that's Star Park at Lincoln. Park yeah, my kids go to at the school in North Park Slope. Oh, okay. I don't know why it's called Lincoln. It's on Eastern Parkway. Maybe know. they moved. <laughs> I don't know.
So keep running the compression. Um, you can still shower. Uh, yeah. And then with the antibiotics, this should close up in like a week or so. Okay. But make an appointment. Come back and see me next Tuesday. I want to okay. see that it's okay. gotten like much better. Okay. Um. So let me get the, comp the compression gun. So as far as this is concerned, this is a new one that I bought. I can continue to use this same one or I... You can. The only thing is like this one's hard. Uh, the, the reason, this is for my stomach, so it, yeah. can flatten, it can protect the, my belly button and everything. Oh, okay. oh, another thing I wanted to talk to you about my belly button. I almost forgot. Hold this for a second. I, want, I was, I purchased this. Okay, these are the things that I, I was going to that I was going to use. Or I'm like using actually. I started using this. Uh, this. Oh yeah, that's good. I started using yeah. this about four days ago. Mm -hmm. But when I peeled it off today to show you, you know. It was full of, of the puss. So yeah. I don't know if this is, is so this is good. Cont when yeah, the silicone is fine. You, so you, you don't need to use it over where the hole is. Okay. Yeah. So I, I could use this where it's healed. Correct. And yeah. then just wait until just the wait. others. Yeah. Okay, little by little. So, okay. And what about this? This is fine. There isn't any evidence that this helps. It, but it doesn't hurt. Okay. So some people love using it. There's no reason for me to tell you not to use it. But if you had asked me beforehand, should you buy it? I would say there's no evidence to buy it. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Got it. It's now, basically just a. So the only there is evidence for the silicone tape. Yeah. But there's no evidence for this. Okay. So this is just. I'll just leave it there, just as a standby. Yeah. Now, what about this for the for the? You can put that on there. It's just don't make it too moist. Don't like clog the hole. But that's fine. I mean, I'm giving you systemic antibiotics. This is just like topical antibiotics. Okay. So I hurt. can put the neosporin like right oh, there. Yeah. Right there, and mm -hmm. then put the the. Gauze on there. Like, like yeah. when I came and in, the gauze. And you can take this in. with you. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. So, um, I was going to show you something else. I was going to show you something else. Yeah, change your name like that. Oh my God. It's at a million dollars right now. <laughs> no joke. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Is it for your belly button? Or yeah, it's, it's. It's um a belly button plug. Yeah. Okay. I was waiting because Michelle told me to wait until I saw you. There's the also no button... evidence of the belly button plug. Yeah, so but I... look at it. It looks weird though. When it look, it's, it's 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 like flattening up. It's not going in. It w so look, this is your fascia. If you push here, mm -hmm. this is on your abdominal fascia. Okay. What nor what will eventually happen? It could take like a year. This skin will become soft, and it will start to fold. If you look, it'll start to fold over the belly button. But this is tacked down right onto the fascia. It can't be any further in than this. We wait over time as the skin around it okay. droops. So You're it does for, take for, about a year. Yeah, well, it just depends on how much we really got you like thinned out here. But it basically, you're just waiting on the skin around it. Like gravity pulls all the skin around it. and then But your belly button can't, it's scarred to the fascia. So then it becomes like a normal belly button. Okay, so can I you can start use using that. this? Yeah. Okay, just just make sure that it's clean, sterile. Put it in, yeah. and then put the a little yeah. tape over it. Yeah, just I've seen people give themselves skin injuries with this. Just make sure it's not like really too tight. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. But otherwise, that's why I have this this board to protect yeah. the belly button and yeah. to to hold it in. All right, so this is good then. It's good. Okay. All right. I think you look great. Oops. What do you think? Compared to that hanging thing I you had took in a the lot oh off. my god, I know you took a whole baby. A whole like full term baby. Yeah. My goodness, I'm documenting my 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 um my journey. Yeah. And I I have pictures of like that before yeah. and videos of before and now and I'm like whoa. Make an appointment to see Michelle next Tuesday. Just because I want to make sure that this has gotten better. Okay. And what about? But are you sure this is gonna get flatter? It should get flatter. I mean, the thing is, the skin is the same thickness on both sides. Like if you pinch here, mm -hmm. they're the same. But some people's bellies aren't even. Does that make okay. sense? Yeah. So if if the belly isn't even, it will never. This will never be even. You know, when you were really big, you've never. You would never notice. But a lot of times, people are like bigger on one side than the other. But the skin's the same. But you still have a lot of. I want to say swelling, but a lot of like healing to do. Eventually, this skin will all like droop down, and it will hood over the belly button. That all takes a long time. Yeah, because when you're touching it right now, I, it hurts there. Yeah. Like, I can feel it. Was yeah. that, that's where you, that's where I had the surgery, the stitch? The well, stitch. no, the stitch is right in the midline, but I, I, I go all the way up to the chest. So, mm. like, all of this was lifted off the abdominal wall. 
from okay. the inside. Yeah, because I can still feel it like on the inside where yeah. you worked. I can but feel this it. area is usually numb. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. It is numb around here. Yeah, because the nerves grow from the sides. That's the farthest point. It will sometimes come back, but like you can feel here, but you can't feel here. That's normal. And that, when will I start feeling sensation? Years. You kidding me? No. The nerves have to grow back from here. You know, because I undermine all the way back to here. So the nerves are cut all the way to here, they, but they grow back. Oh my God. Yeah. Wow. All right, so I'm on week six. Mm -hmm. So how much longer do you think I'll be, I wanna work out so bad. Um, as soon as you heal this, you can start working out. As soon as that closes back up. This over here, you mm -hmm. mean? And the, the infection goes away and everything? Yep. So what, you're looking at maybe, Two, I'm six weeks. weeks. So about like eight weeks? Yeah. Come come back next Tuesday. We'll talk more. Okay. Thank it's you so you. much. Thank you so much. Do you want some homework? <laughs> no. Okay. Take care, guys. Thank you. Thank you, you too. Amazon. He is so funny. Huh? Change? You gonna change my password? Yes. I have. It. If I were to go shopping for real, if I had a million dollars, that's what the balance is on Amazon right now. It's like a million dollars. Can I have my bag, please? Thank you. He is so nice. All right, so you heard what he said. In about three weeks, I can start working out. At eight weeks. So it's I'm six weeks right now. I'm so almost seven. And actually eight weeks. Post. Post-op. So I can work out as soon as this heals, he yeah, says. in the house. Hey, the more the merrier. And these are sterile too, so. Yeah. All right, so that's it. Yeah, these my, don't work. Until my next. This isn't going to fix anything. He says that to try it, just give it a try. Yeah, are you going to put this on? Yeah, I'm going to put that on. So that's it. That's the end of my appointment post-op. Six weeks. And um, antibiotics. And come back next Tuesday to see Michelle. Yeah, give me a subscribe. Oh, you want them to subscribe? But don't give me them down.